In this video, I will introduce the interface of Remix. Let's start with a high-level overview of the UI. On the left side, we have the icon panel. Next to the icon panel, you have the side panel, which changes depending on the icon selected. Remix is a tool composed of many modules or plugins. Most are made by the Remix team, but some are made by others. The default plugins are present when Remix loads. The essential default plugins are the file explorer, the Solidity compiler, deploy and run, the plugin manager, and the settings panel. On the top part, you have the main panel with open tabs. In the main panel, you can see the active file. But when you load Remix for the first time, you will see the home page in a tab in the main panel. And below you have the terminal. The terminal can show you the result of your interactions with the blockchain. And you can also use the terminal to issue some comments. You can adjust the size of the text in the code editor with these two buttons. And for all side panel plugins, except the file explorer, if you click on this icon, it's going to move the whole sidebar to the other side. At the bottom of Remix is the status bar and the AI assistant. Next, let's explore in more details the Home tab. The Home tab is what will be open by default when you first open Remix. After you open a file, you can get back to the Home tab by clicking here. In the Home tab, you can change the language of Remix with this drop-down. Here you can see the recent announcements of the Remix team in the Features section, including a new main panel plugin that is a list of curated videos. Below you can see a list of feature plugins. Here you can search the documentation of Remix. Here you can quickly start a new project by using some templates. Here you can open a recent workspace. And here you can have a few menus to create a new file or open existing ones. Next, I'm going to explain the template explorer. A template is a boilerplate to quickly start a new project. You have templates for ERC20, ERC721, and many other use cases. There are even templates that just contain scripts and no smart contracts. To access the Template Explorer, first go to the File Explorer and click the Hamburger menu. Then create a workspace, and on the right, you will see the Template Explorer. You can filter templates by category. You can search templates by name. And you can scroll down to see the list of templates. For each template, you can either use them in a brand new project by clicking here, or you can use them in your current project by clicking here. If you want to start from scratch, you can choose the blank template. If you want to start with some basic 3DT files and scripts, pick the basic template. If you scroll down, you will see a list of ERC20 templates. You have a basic ERC20 template, and you also have more customized ERC20 with mintable function, burnable, and different combinations. And you can keep exploring. There are many other templates available. After you have loaded a 3DT contract and then compile it in the 3DT compiler, you will want to deploy it to a blockchain in the deploy and run plugin. At the top of deploy and run is the environment where you choose the provider. Providers are how you connect to the blockchain. There are many blockchains you can connect to like mainnet, testnet, or local development blockchain. And there are also many ways to connect to these blockchains like MetaMask Wallet or Blockchain API. So let's explore the different options. For that, let's go to deploy and run, click on the environment dropdown, and you will see a list of providers. If you want to configure the list, click on this button. This is the list of all the available providers. The providers that appear in the drop-down have a check mark. To add or remove a provider, just click on it. For example, if you add the Sepolia provider, when you open the environment drop-down again, you will see it. More about deploy and run in another video. Next, I'm going to show you how to see the tutorials of Remix. Go to the plugin manager, search for learn ETH, activate the plugin, and you will see a new menu in Remix. Click on it, and you will see a list of all the tutorials. For each tutorial, you can expand it to see the full description. To follow a tutorial, click on this icon. You will see the list of lessons for this tutorial. To open a lesson, click here. And now you just have to follow the instructions. You can also access a selection of video tutorials. For this, go to the plugin manager and search for Remix guides. Activate it, and you should see a new tab open. And if you go to this tab, you will see a list of video tutorials. Alright, that's it for this video.